Okay, I'm back. I noticed a problem that I'm going to have to fix here. Under form load, I said tile equals 1 when everything initialized, which is a wall, unfortunately. I meant to say tile is 0. So uh, we have basically a giant block of wall. So what I need to do here, see tile A and tile B being 1 and 0, these are, um, this is what the graphic looks like for that pellet. So I'm going to take my exit button here and I'm going to use it as a quick fix. I'm going to loop through the map. Hopefully this makes sense to everybody. Now I'm going to loop through the map and say if tile A equals 1 and tile B equals 0, then tile equals 0. And then I'm going to have it save the map and then end. So let me do that button pushed, we're good. Um, and then of course I just go right back to making this say end. Hopefully what that's done is taken every spot that looked like this and set it to not be a wall. So sorry if uh, <laughs> if you're following along and actually typed and made the map. You typed all the code and then made the map using the, the typo, that's the only way you're going to be able to fix it. If you haven't actually started this yet, just from the very beginning set this inform load to zero and it solves all your problems right away. Oh, that was some code that I tossed in that while I had the camera off which is what I noticed caused the or I noticed the wall problem so you don't have to worry about that. When we run it I should be able to change direction now. Now he still doesn't run into walls but he allows me to change direction when it hits an opening. Like if I say if I hit to the right, he waits until there's actually an opening. If I hit up, it took him a second. But as soon as there's a way to go up, he goes up. So what happens now in timer, we need, this is if we have told it where to go. Got to start this over again and say if, he's, if his actual direction is this number, like one which is right, move up here. If he wants to go to the right and the tile is a wall, then we've got to do something different here. We have to make him pick a new direction. I'm actually going to make this a nested if, or a block if, and I'm going to say, say that's him going to the right. I'll say if tile a plus one, b minus one, so in other words if the tile, wait a minute, if the tile north of him is not equal to 1, then automatically go up. Um, up is 4. And you know what, I'm actually just going to use an else here, because if up is a wall, down has to be free, because there's no actual dead ends in Pac-Man, if you guys are following my logic behind that. Um, I'm just going to cut and paste more stuff in here. Don't want to bother modifying it here. So two. Um, oh, you know what? That's right. Three is left. I'll put three together. Two and four together. That way it's a little bit faster here, so I can just say minus one. And then this will be B plus one. And this will be B minus one. Uh, the up and down thing should apply for left and right, and everything's fine there. And then for going up and down and running into a dead end, which that's what I'm doing, right? Yeah. Up and down, if you hit a dead end, the direction should be, what is A minus one? That's if he's traveling left. Then we'll make his direction go. Wait a minute, what am I doing here? <laughs> Alright, if he's traveling left, or if he's traveling to. <laughs> if he's traveling down, runs into a wall, but to the left is free. 
then he needs to continue moving left, which is the number three. Okay, and then what is right? Right's one, right? Yeah. Okay. I have a terrible memory. So, um, let's see if that works. Yeah, he hits stuff and he automatically turns. But, you know what? He turned when he wasn't supposed to. He turned right here. And this clipping thing, where you can see pieces of him, just, you know, ignore that, too. Why is he running? See, you know what? There might be some kind of issue here. Something's screwed up still. And it's in here. So I gotta change this. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't just change his direction. We need to... Let me see here. Then... What do I want to do? Here we go. I think this will work. We have to change his desired direction, too. That's why he keeps changing directions on us. Because... See, so there we go. Because his, his desired direction was never changing. So actually, if we just leave him, he'll always travel straight until he hits a, a bump, something that stops him, and he'll change direction accordingly. Now, if I manually tell him, see, I can maneuver him into the center if I want by using the arrow keys. There we go. Now, the next, let's, let's get rid of, uh, or let's do the transparencies. So that's under drawing our Pac-Man guy. The way the transparencies work is zero, one, two. We we just want to shift it. We have to draw these first, and it's just adding four to it. So we say from the destination. Where are we at? Two plus animation plus four. It should be black. Yep. Um, and then we have to do slash slash or no, one slash, sorry. BB merge paint, which will draw our mask in. He should show up as white. Yeah. Now, he is still leaving streaks here. But why? Let me think. Why would he still be leaving streaks? Um. Okay, well, that's my timer. I gotta stop the video again.